Well, hello everyone. This is Robin Carter. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator out of Flower Mound, Texas. And today I'm here to share my first set of alternative cards using the April 2024 Paper Pumpkin Kit. So before we begin, let me thank those of you that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate you subscribing and watching my videos. And then in my unboxing, I gave a little bit of stats information for my channel. It says that 60% of my viewers are not subscribed to my YouTube channel and about 40 are. So I had a few of you uh, come out in your comments and say, oops, I'm part of that 60%, but I'm subscribing now. So thank you if that gave you a little challenge to do that and I want to challenge you still with this video maybe you're new to my channel I would really appreciate if you would subscribe and when you do subscribe let me know in the comments and about where you are from I always find that very interesting so uh, I need to switch to hands down so we can get started with our uh, alternative video for today so give me just a second to switch screens Okay, so now we're hands down, and um, this is the flyer for the Delicate Wings Paper Pumpkin Kit. And as I did in my unboxing, I have a new setup, so now I'm letting you see, <laughs> everyone see me, you used to just get my hands. And then for my uh, hands down, I do have myself up in the corner, just so I can relate to you guys. And um, I do have a link to my online store in the bottom left, and my host code is still up here at front. So I hope you uh, find that information helpful. And so this is the uh, kit. And uh, as you know, I do make alternative cards, expanding the kits and bringing in additional supplies. But the business I need to take care of is I did find the updated flyer for the net for this quarters of paper pumpkin kits. And look at the June. We finally get to see it in color. When it was in black and white, I had no idea that these were peaches. <laughs> so um, I do like that and I was wrong in my unboxing the ink spot is going to be shy shamrock and let me see if I still have I put it in a flyer is that too shiny I think it's okay so this is will be the new ink colors of the catalog the new annual Stampin' Up! catalog that goes live on May so this is summer splash this is shy shamrock now I'm a little sad we didn't get the peach um, because obviously you're going to need that to make peaches. Uh, so we'll see how that works. I will purchase these and have these on hand by the time that kit rolls around. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this, uh, sneak peek at the new in colors. All right. And so going on now is the subscription period for the May, the best there is kit. Now don't shy away from this just because it says it's to make Father's Day cards. Um, you know me, I will make alternatives and I'm kind of looking forward to not having flowers as usual to work with. So there's some very pretty uh, card bases that are much like the coordinating uh, Country Woods Designer Series paper is what it coordinates with. And I've already seen a little sneak peek uh, with our demonstrator. Uh, it's called the Demonstrator Paper Pumpkin Group and we get a little sneak peek at some things. Not the whole kit. It's still a surprise when it comes to me. But I've seen where they've used uh, as a card base some of the actual paper that's in there, except it's made up like a card base. So it's going to make nine cards, three each of three designs as intended. There is some wood grain texture. Um, so anyway, they'll be good all occasion cards for anyone. So don't shy away from that just because it says it's Father's Day. Now, finally, my add-on dies came in just before this video. And here they are right here. The item number for the add-on dies is 164397. So I'm going to open them up right here with you guys. I did get impatient and I had to make myself a scan and cut for my um, butterflies because I was like, I've got to get started. But look at these. There's a nice size label and the butterfly has the, the well, as I said, they're brand new so they're stuck to the tape. The butterfly is does cut out that stamp and then there's also a detail that you could cut this out as well and maybe stick on top or leave it as a standalone. So I'll play with those maybe for my future alternatives. And then this nice 
thanks. So um, I'm looking forward to using that word as well. But like I said, I didn't have this before I did any alternatives so far. Um, so I just wanted to share them since I got them in. All right, so that is all the business. Now I'm gonna stick this instruction so I don't lose it in my big nine by uh, almost 10 envelope. So if you're new to my channel, those of you that are not new, I'm sorry to be so repetitive, but these are what I call my favorite things. And my favorite things are just items I find helpful in organizing my craft supplies. You're gonna see several different sizes of these. And all my favorite things are listed in the, uh, where you can purchase them in the description box of this video. Just by the title, there's a little more button click not really a button but a more <laughs> and you can click on that and it'll open up the details to this video and scroll down and then there will be uh, links to where I purchase these I am an Amazon affiliate so when you use these links to purchase these products I get a few pennies back at no cost to you for recommending these products so if you have used these links thank you so much and if you plan to use them in the future thank you for your support all right, so let me set that aside and we're going to get started with the purpose of this video. So like I always like to do, I start out with the stamps. And like I said, I did get a little impatient uh, <laughs> waiting on my dies. So I made a scan and cut file. Um, but for this card, we're going to need a thick white um, base, basic thick <laughs> white card base. Uh, then I brought in the radiating stitches die and I have those right here and we're going to use this second to the largest one and I have that pre-cut I think in my little envelope of goodies so that one okay and then we're going to use the the gray basic gray card base now I have already cut mine because I have made one and so with just half a card base you can make three of these cards then we're going to need a smoky slate uh, layer that's four and one eighth by five and three eighths and that's going to be a layer and then of course we're going to need some butterflies now I have already stamped this is the smallest of my favorite things the three by five I have already stamped a whole bunch of butterflies in basic gray and um, I'm going to teach how I colored my butterflies with this as well because it's a pretty basic card design. So I also have a scan and cut file for the small butterfly or half butterfly that's kind of landing. Um, by the way, I finally have figured out a way I can share these with you guys. I have a new Etsy shop and a link to that is in the description box of this video as well. And there I share um, some cut files when you ask for them. Etsy does have quite a bit of fees just for listing. <laughs> so if you're interested in this, let me know in the comments or emailing me with the email that's on uh, the start and end page of this video and then I can get those uh, out there for you to purchase my digital files are five dollars and then you get to download I have to zip them all because they don't take the brother scan and cut file format and they are only for the brother scan and cut scan and cut machine it does not work with the Cricut because it's a whole different file format so just keep that in mind I had a few interested in last month's and by the way there is still a file out there for last month's flowers and then I had someone contact me for the uh, dandelion so if there's a kit you're working on and you have a scan and cut and are interested in those let me know I have also done the actual cutouts blank um, so if that's something you would can like then uh, consider that so let's get back to the card all right so i as you can see i've already dry embossed this and i use the basics 3d embossing folder um, i don't have that on my table to share with you but i've used it quite a lot and on my blog post i will put a full supply list of the items used for this product for this these alternatives all right, so I said I was gonna share how to color the butterfly. So let's get right to that. So as I said, I stamped these in basic gray, which is the ink spot we received this month. And I've colored them several different ways. I've used my blends, and then I've used my watercolor pencils, and then I've used my blender pen with the inks 
So let, let's, I'm going to use that method today and I'll just kind of explain what I use when I use the watercolor pencils. Here's all my goodies I've used to color them. And I have already a little block with some Lost Lagoon on it. And I had a block, here it is, with some uh, Moody Mauve. And I may have to re-ink these. Um, something is on that one. I really don't want to touch it because I'll get all inky fingers. Um, but we'll see how the blender pen does. Okay, and then you have a blender pen. Now these are sold as a set of three. And I've shared in my videos before that um, I like to kind of keep one end a certain color. I have reds, that way I don't have to scribble it off, and greens. Um, Moody Mauve and Lost Lagoon kind of didn't fit any of those. So I made a new blender pen for those because it's kind of a, I don't know, it's mauve and it's like teal. So maybe I could make it that color. All right, and then I am going to use my basic gray watercolor pencil, and I think that's all I need, but they're all right here in case I did. Now, if you just have watercolor pencils and wanted to color these, obviously we don't have Lost Lagoon or Moody Mauve, but I brought in Melon Mambo, the Coastal Cabana, and well, this is basic black. Uh, so I brought in those two as a replacement for those. Actually, the Coastal Cabana does pretty good. The Melon Mambo is kind of pink, but it still works. So if that's what you have and want to use that, then you can go use those. So always I will tell you that you risk the ink bleeding with any of our regular colors. They recommend if you're going to use a blender pen or watercolor pencils that you use stays on ink. But I have found that if I stamp these and let them dry like overnight, they don't tend to bleed as much. So, um, and if you work quickly to the, the new, you're fine. And this is not watercolor paper, it's um, regular white. So let's see if I can huff on this and get it going well. <sighs> Just kind of give it some moisture. And then I did kind of look at the butterflies that they had made. Let me see if I can find that pretty quick. Here they are. So here is a butterfly that they made. All right, so I kind of followed that a little bit. All right, except I didn't use the gray. Huff on that again. Get my blender pen in there and let's see how this works. I may need to get some new ink. This was on there from last night. I just was hoping I could reactivate it. So I'm just coloring in these little areas kind of along the wing. And I'm gonna do this part right here. All right, I think that's it for the Lost Lagoon. You know what, I'm gonna add a little more color just because I want to. <laughs> okay, now for the Moody Mauve, let me huff on this <sighs> see if my moisture wettens that enough all right and then now they have some just here along the bottom and there's really no particular way I just kind of went with my own flow here to add some color and I'm even going to add some up here and up here so each of your butterflies can look a little different All right, and then let's let's go ahead and do this one while I'm doing that. All right, let's switch. And this is again Lost Lagoon and Moody Mauve ink, and I'm using the blender pen. It almost makes a little squeaky that blender pens make, doesn't it? Let's put a little more color in on him. Okay, so that's the coloring. And then I'm going to take my basic gray watercolor pencil and fill in. So just scribbling. That actually bled the Moody Mob a little bit. So you might want to let that dry a little bit. Um, it's fine, though. You're just kind of giving him some more color. 
Okay, so can you see that? It's got a little bit of color to him. All right, and let's go in. I should put my heat gun to them, but we're just going to go ahead and color this one in as well. Again, this is the basic gray watercolor pencil, so I just don't want him to be so white, the wings. Okay, so there we go. Now, I think these right here are supposed to be his antennas, and I think that's what I had the black out for. Let's see how that works um, for his antennas. Let's just make them a little black. And I really think that's what those were. So if, if not, now they definitely are because I've colored them well. Hold on just a second. I dropped my pencil. <laughs> okay. So I hope that helps give you an idea of how to color these. Um, again, like I said, I did use on some others uh, this. And when I get to showing my finished cards, I hope I can remember which one I used for those. So let's set our ink away so we don't get our components all inky for my hands and put him back up in his folder okay so there we have that okay so now I decided I want a little background on this uh, this piece it's gonna hold our butterflies but I thought they looked a little plain but then I also want to do my sentiment and I want to take as you can see, this doesn't quite fit. So I'm going to do partial inking or masking. You can put tape over this to hold it and ink it up, but I'm going to be real careful and try to just ink up this word, everything. It is easier with a full size pad because I can kind of see where I'm hitting. So I just wanted to ink up everything. Then I'm going to put that here just hope it's and oh, that's pretty straight um being brave okay and now, so clean that off if you're um now if you're using tape after you ink it take the tape off because you may have ink on the tape that'll get on there so now we're going to do uh will be okay so i'm going to ink up this side of the stamp and put it below and I hope I'm not getting let me see it doesn't look like it's well inked you can always make sure you didn't get any ink there all right I think that did good except it was wet so note to you guys if you, when you clean it off dry it off um, but you know we're gonna go with that for right now I may replace it later if it doesn't dry clear, but you know, I keep the, my videos real. They are what they are, mistakes and all. All right, while that kind of dries, let's put our, oh, we're not going to do that because I'm going to add some ribbon. Let's put uh, one of our bases. Now, as I said, this is half a card base that I've cut uh, into three pieces. So I think you can cut each at um, one and three eighths. You get two of those, two, and then you get one left with almost one and a half. So that way you can make three with just half of one of these card bases. So let's put that on here. And you can decide, um, actually, I've cut this just a, another eighth of an inch. So since this is four and one eighths by five and three eighths, this is going to be five and a quarter. That way we leave a little border all around. I'm using my, my multi-purpose glue that's in a fine tip glue bottle. Just put this and I like the Tombow multi-purpose glue because it helps me with some wiggle room to get it straight. Okay, and the equal amount of border. Now I wanted to give this a little bit of color so I brought in some ribbon now let me tell you this ribbon is moody mauve and it's retiring but it is it is on uh, the last chance item discounted so it's a beautiful ribbon and this color is still going to be around for another year so it'd be a great time to pick up some ribbon of this color so let's cut off a portion of it 
and I'm just going to wrap it around this right here and so the item number for this moody mauve is one six one six three zero by the way in my online shop which is pretty easy to remember it's robin carter um what is it robin carter dot stampin up dot net so in the specials column i will always list the current host code as well as uh a link to where if you do not have a paper pumpkin uh, demonstrator you can subscribe through me um, so you don't want to miss these kits one of my downlines skipped this kit and i always kind of run my alternates by her and she's like you're making me wish i didn't skip this kit and i'm like never skip <laughs> we can do something with every kit so another reason why I love Paper Pumpkin is you get an exclusive stamp set that you can't purchase anywhere other than um, if it comes out later as a full kit refill. And by the way, you have to be a subscriber to be able to get the dies, the refills, or the past kits. So, and then it always helps me break out of my zones. Like I never would have thought to use basic gray for this background. But, you know, it helps me use different colors. And I thought the smoky slate kind of um, made it a little softer. I think a full page of this is a little much with the glitter for my, for my taste. So that's what I did here. All right, let's, and I just used tear and tape and I'm not gonna tear off the back just to hold down my ribbon. Now, lots of time I will take a whole strip of tape runner and put there to hold my ribbon down. Um, so I didn't do that this time since I have something over the center. Hopefully it's going to hold it down just fine. Hopefully everyone has their kits by now. I got mine pretty early. Oh, actually, I think I said in my unboxing, it was my neighbors. So mine took a little trip around the Metroplex and it finally arrived, I think yesterday. So she will be getting my kit since I've used her kit um but i don't know it, it it went to my local town post office and then it left for dallas and i'm like okay i don't know why you did that but um all right so now we're going to put this on here um also before we do that i wanted a little more things in the background so i brought in a stamp set that i have gorgeously made and I think this is on the retirement list as well. But I really liked this um, big leaf. And I don't have the sticker on it. But it's this one right here. And let me get my big block. This is the E, F, F block. All right. So let's just put him on there like that. And then I have Lost Lagoon that I'm going to bring in since that's what we colored our butterfly in. And again, when you use these big foam, you just want to kiss it. So basically, you could just set it down, right, and ink it. Check it to make sure it's inked well. And then I'm going to be brave and go straight in diagonal on this. And let that sit there a second. I, sh I could use my stamp apparatus in case some of it doesn't um, get inked, but I, I have another tip I can share with you too. Hopefully it'll be good. Okay, this one is really good, but if you wanted to make it smoother, you could take your blender pen that we just used Lost Lagoon in, and while it's still kind of wet, go in and fill that in. So like I said, mine's pretty good, but if you miss some spots, um, that's something you can do to fix it. Our butterflies are going to cover it as well, too. So let's do our butterflies. Now, what I like to do with my butterflies is curl the wings with my bone folder. You could use your watercolor pencil, blender pen, or anything. Okay, and this one, I'm just going to curl the back wings there. All right, and so we're going to glue it down. Now, when I glue it down, I'm just going to glue the body side that way the wings flow free and same thing on the large butterfly I'm just going to put it on the body of him and stick him down 
probably should have put it on the card first because <laughs> now I need to do dimensionals. All right, so to put this on the card, I do want to use dimensionals. And I just have a whole stack here of some. And I'm going to cut these in half. I find that half of the large ones is enough. All right, let's just not smush them. We could round the rings again if we need to, because when it gets mailed, it's probably going to get squished anyway. But maybe not completely flat. All right, I'm just going to put six around here. Give it a little press. And let's take these off. All right, and then let's add this to the card. I'm going to eye it. Hopefully I get it centered. Now, if you get glue oozing out kind of like that is, I have, it's part of my favorite things, this glue eraser, gum eraser, whatever it's called. And that helps get any stickies out of the way. So anyway, this is my first alternative sharing with you. And so when I had this design done, I was, I really loved the color of the envelopes. And I said, you know what? Let's try the same thing with the envelopes. So let me put this away. And... Oh, here's the one I made before. I said, oh, and I forgot a step. Excuse me. I, uh, I have them in here. By the way, I also brought out, in case you have these scallop contour dies, that that would look nice there. And then on these two, so this uses the inked and tiled leaf. Um, okay, this one was not blends. I think that was watercolor pencils. That one wasn't either because it would bleed through. Um, but I also wanted to add the little one of the little butterflies from the kit. Now I could have moved him down, but I'm just going to glue him up there as well to coordinate kind of with that ribbon to give it a little more color. Well, let's put him over here. Okay, so now it's complete. I'm glad I pulled those out so I um, could show you what I did. So um, just some different ways to do it. And as you can see, each one might be colored a little different, but it makes them interesting. Okay, so that is my first set. And like I said, I thought I would do the same thing with the envelope. Now our envelopes, it's just the flap that is, has design. Now the rest of the envelope would be nice to save for like basic beige. Okay, and then I use the same exact design of that. Now if you don't have um, basic beige, which I did not, but I had Sahara sand and it's just a little bit darker, but that's what I had. And so that's what I'm going to use until I get order some basic beige. Um, but you could maybe even use this part. Okay. But I'm just going to show you what I did. So I took the same four and one eighth by five and three eighths, and I cut the flap to where it's five and a quarter. Okay. And I still have this rounded part, but don't worry about that. We're going to cover it up with um, some ribbon. You could lick that and that would help it adhere to your base. And I've misplaced my glue, but I do have the little bottle sitting around. So we'll just, I'll find it when I clean up. I get everything. I think I'm nice and organized. Oh, here it is. I stuck them in the wrong little glass container. All right, so let's put that on there. Okay, and then I used the same Moody Mauve ribbon. Um, as you can see, you can cover up where it, it goes. Um, actually, in hindsight, I probably would cut a little bit off, but let's see what he's going to cover. Nope, I got to go kind of all the way to the side, and that's I'm going to be okay with that. Shows more butterfly. And the tear and tape. I have 
loads of it around. You know what? I'm going to have to go for the scotch tape right now. I had like three little rolls of it. Um, you're probably watching this going, it's over there. Okay, I'm going to use scotch tape for now. I'll go back in and put tear and tape on there to hold it down. Okay. And then we can put this onto our card base. Well, I can't go back and add tear and tape, can I? We're just going to hope it stays. Oh, I see it. I see it. So let's go back and add that. By the way, I got a little lucky. I thought I was going to do this video tomorrow, but I forgot my husband had what they're calling man church. So he went to that and I said, oh, good, I can go get my video done um, before he gets home. So that's why I'm able to bring this Friday night is usually family time. But it was just myself and Coco, my kitty cat. So I decided I would come up here and get this video started since I'm a little late. When I make alternatives, I like to make them and then kind of you know look at them <laughs> the next day or two and go is that what I do I still like that is that good and I do that but I'm going to take a big um swatch of this and put it on my card front to help hold that tape or ribbon down let's see if I can do that with the glue on the back I just think it helps hold it flat Okay, that's pretty good. I'll have to whoops, go in with my glue eraser and fix that. Now I've got all sticky hands. Okay, and you don't even have to peel that off if you're holding just your ribbon down. Get this on the right side and I can see I got it a little cattywampus but maybe with the label it won't show let me rub my hands here and see if i can get them unsticky okay and then let's take the adhesive remover and get that off where i didn't do it straight now we're going to do the same design i'm not sure i do already have one large butterfly colored and you can see that one is with the blends because it um, shows through on the back so I can use that one and then I'll have to color another little one I may do that um, later since you guys already saw let me see how I am on my time yep I'm about 30 minutes and that's about as much time as I want to keep with you let me go ahead and stamp this real quick again and hopefully I'll do better I forgot to go look and see if that one dried. So I'm going to do the same technique with my basic gray. I need to put all my inks in one spot. All right, so I'm going to ink up the everything. And you know what? I need to make sure I clean that off last time. And let's let it dry. Okay, everything. That's pretty good. And then clean that off. Dry it. That's what <laughs> pants are for sometimes. We'll be okay. There we go. And then I'm going to do my leaf again. Same Lost Lagoon, same big leaf. There's lots of leaves that would work for this. I, I was trying to get some, but really any leaf, even like the lavender. If you've received the lavender paper pumpkin, there's like a little sprig, I called it. It really didn't look like lavender. 
Um, anything like that would work. I think we've had some in past paper pumpkin kits. So, you know, look through your stash and see what you have because you spent your good uh, money on all these kits and the stamp sets are good for years and years to come. So take good, make good use of those and the items you have in your craft room. Okay, so there is our leaf. I'll clean that later. And let's put dimensionals on this as well. So do you guys like these alternatives, alternative cards? I already have some more in the works and I hope to get to them um, this week, maybe over the weekend, but um, if, especially if it rains. So I think I've shared before that my family, we, we like to golf and here in Texas, it's um, the right temperatures before it becomes summer and a hundred. Now I did golf with my daughter Wednesday and it was humid. It felt like it was a hundred degrees, but anyway, we're scheduled for golf unless it rains, which it's supposed to rain and never complain about when you can get rain because the summer we'll be wishing we had some. So we'll take all we can get now. And I can just come make more videos <laughs> if I'm stuck inside. All right, so let's stick this in the middle. It got wet. Okay, and then I will add the butterfly. And this butterfly when I color it, and maybe another butterfly from the kit. But anyway, this is the same design just with the envelope, and I really like that color there. Um, so as I showed you can here's one I did ahead of time and I did I actually used a die cut for this green, greenery in Mossy Meadow um, I, I think I prefer the Lost Lagoon but this one's already made and stuck down so um, it's pretty in itself but so here's just some different things you can do if you don't have this stamp maybe you have some greenery even the last month's or last quarter's dies had a leaf in it so maybe you have that and you could just put a couple around back behind your butterflies so thanks for joining me today i'm going to put this one back in its little folder so i can make my third one um, as i said i've been working on some other alternatives and i can only share I don't want to take up too much of your time so i'm just going to share this one today so be sure and subscribe to my youtube channel let me get me back to myself okay so be sure and subscribe to my youtube channel so you don't miss any more of my alternatives and the best compliment you can give me is a thumbs up for this video share it with your other paper crafting friends and as always be sure you're subscribed to my youtube channel so thanks for joining me i hope you guys have a fabulous weekend if i don't uh, come back before then so until my next video bye bye